you tell us your name and the character you play for the camera? Yes, my name is Bo Garrett and I play Mila. Mila with no last name. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about your character in this film and what drew you to the part? Um, what drew me to the part was working with um, a bunch of a young filmmaker who has a really unique vision and I, it's always interesting to collaborate with someone who's open creatively. And working on an independent film is fun and working at times, but also a great collaborative effort that's rare with filmmaking. Um, and I think what drew me to Mila was uh, the subtleties in her. I think she's, like most women, insecure and hides it in a lot of things. And it's kind of interesting to work through the layers of that and try to find humanity in, in her. And uh, working with Dijin and, and Fran, I love both of them. And Anton's a great director. And uh, it, was, it was a fun experience. I only know what I've seen in the trailer and a little bit about it, but it seems like your character... Are you watching it tonight? Yeah. Okay, good. So, the only thing I know is like your character dumps the other guys. That's, how do you yeah. make how do you make your character likable and want us to cheer for them with that? Well, I think like anybody, I mean, we all do things that maybe other people might not think is so attractive, but I think we're all human. We make mistakes, and she's just figuring herself out. So I think we just have to be open. I, she's I think Mila's very likable. Uh, she's not a bad person. She's just trying to find the right person. Is there a highlight in this film that when you think about it? That's the scene that you're like, you want to make sure people see that? No, I don't really think about it that way. I mean, there were scenes that were more challenging for me that I would like people to watch because it, it definitely was more vulnerable for me to play. But I mean, I don't know that there was a highlight. It all, it all was really kind of challenging and fun. It's already. You've done a couple. Is this one of the first independent films you've done? No, I've done quite a few. Just one of the first that's actually made it to like the BC. Um, but I've done quite a few. Is that your preference? No, I think whatever good work is out there I mean, is my preference. Um, I don't really have, it's, it's nice doing a studio film and having the perks of financially being taken care of and not having to worry about where the green room is or if you get per diem or if you get paid. Um, but, uh, but then you kind of sometimes will lose that creative freedom. So it's um, it's kind of like, it, it's, I don't know, I, I, I like both. I enjoy both when the character is good and it's a uh, it's a fun environment. Speaking of which, who was the troublemaker on the set? There's always one. I think we were all pretty good. I mean, we laughed a lot. Because oh, Fran's when funny. I say troublemaker, I mean like practical jokes. That's what I, mean. I think we. I don't know. Fran's maybe a little bit of a. I don't know. We all kind of joked around and laughed our butts off. You know, it was late nights. But I would say Fran. I'd say that guy. <laughs> yeah. If you were going to plug the film to other people who are seeing this video, what would you tell them about the film and why they should go see it? Um, it's a fun romantic comedy. You'll laugh. Um, I think you'll relate to some degree. To some degree. Um, and it's just a really light film. It's good to watch. Yeah, I, I always thought this was Thank you, Thank you so much.